Good morning, YouTube viewers. Sweet Tips here. It's just after 10 a.m. And you can see the amps, 1.5. And the voltage has uh, dropped off to 1.9. If you look down into the cell, we're looking very good here. I'm very pleased with the results so far. The pure silver crystal looks absolutely gorgeous. Nice uniform shape and size to the uh, crystals. Here's a look down in the anode basket. As you can see, the silver crystal charge from yesterday evening has dissolved and passed through the filter, traveled down through the electrolyte and played it out as pure silver crystal inside the cell. Well, as that process happens, some of the silver in this electrolyte plates out along with the silver that has dissolved out of our anode filter. It gets plated out along with the dissolved silver on the inside of the stainless steel bowl and the actual concentration of the silver nitrate in there will decline due to this phenomenon. Also, due to evaporation, the physical level of the electrolyte will decline. The actual physical level of the liquid in here will decline due to evaporation. So our silver concentration declines as the cell operates along with the actual physical level of the electrolyte. So what we need to do to compensate for that is add some more electrolyte. So what I have in this bottle right here it's a little bit of silver nitrate electrolyte that I prepared earlier. There's about 150 grams of pure silver dissolved in hot dilute nitric. And all of the available nitric has been consumed out of here. So I'm not going to be putting any nitric in the cell. So what we're going to do now is take this electrolyte. I'm going to add it to the cell and this will replenish the depleted silver nitrate in the electrolyte and fill the level back up to where we want it to be the physical level of the electrolyte back up to the right correct level now I want to uh, stir this up and make sure and carefully mix the freshly added electrolyte with the electrolyte that was already in the bowl. Now I'll cover the cell opening here so we don't drop anything down in there. And uh, what we're doing is feeding pure silver crystal back through the cell here a second, or actually a third time. So I'm going to recharge the anode filter basket with more pure silver crystal from a previous refining. And since we're adding pure silver crystal back into the cell, there won't be any impurities in this silver crystal that I'm feeding in there right now. And uh, what that means is this anode filter in this basket that I'm uh, filling up right now will stay free of silver cell slimes that we normally get when we add the impure silver shot into the anode filter basket.
Yet a nice thing about refining the silver crystal back through the cell like this is that we don't get any resistance to flow from silver cell slimes that build up in this filter because we're putting pure silver in there. The pure silver dissolves and there's no slimes that get left over. However, when we start feeding in the impure silver shot like I have in this bowl right here, this impure silver shot is 98% to 99% pure silver from my gold refining. It's going to contain mostly copper, but there will also be platinum group metals in this silver shot. And as this shot dissolves in the anode basket, what will happen is the insoluble metals, the platinum group metals, and gold will accumulate in the silver cell anode basket forming slimes and we can recover those metals from the anode basket uh, which is a plus because uh, silver and gold and platinum are all much more expensive than silver however those slimes will tend to clog up that filter and create resistance in our cell. This has been the uh, day four update. There's about 10 pounds of impure silver in this bowl. And what I'm going to have to do, I think, is set up a second cell to start refining this silver. I want to get all of this silver passed through this cell. This is double refined. And when we get done with this, the silver in our cell will be triple refined pure silver crystal. I'll make up some more of this spare electrolyte. I've got a little bit left in there. And uh, we keep that right here at the cell to replenish the level as already discussed. And I'll make some more of that later today. All right, this will conclude update of day four of the electrolytic silver cell. Thank you for watching.